Hello, hi there Capricorns, happy, happy new year, hope that you are all gorgeous and well. It's uh, your love horoscope for January 2019, can you believe it? <laughs> well, I don't think your January is going to be too dull, I am getting proactivity and that it's time for you to go, is what my guides are saying. So if you're watching me for the first time, I'm a psychic reader, I don't use tarot cards, I, I work with my own spirit guides and that's how I do all my readings and if you'd like to know more about me, all the links to me and my services are just down below. Um, but that's what they're saying straight away, proactivity but time to go. I know what they mean by that because they're saying for some of you, and this reading is kind of like from the 6th of January for the rest of the month, so the next four weeks basically, starting from the 6th. And they're saying that some of you are starting the year a little bit apprehensive because it's you a tiny, teeny bit, maybe some of you more than others, but at least a teeny, tiny bit still stuck in 2018. And the, the mountain of problems that you had in a romantic sense still bothering you, only in the sense that you're worried about making the wrong choices, trusting your own instincts, that it goes wrong, maybe some of you need enclosure. And you've kind of taught, you know, you, you've kind of got it a little bit because you're just like, oh, I don't know which way to go. You know, who do I trust? What do I do? Can I trust myself? And you're not seeing all the opportunities that are right there before you, beside you, right there. They're saying there's, like I said, there's a teeny tiny bit, but it's enough to sell the water or, or it's large, maybe for some of you, where you're just a bit worried about trusting yourself, if I'm being honest with you. And this is what they mean by it's time to go. It's time to go away from that 2018 energy where your love life was highs and lows. I get some of you were with narcissists. I get some of you were, you know, um, um, not trusting of friends and family. I just get lots of different, you know, things I could spout out about. But mainly the overall theme is about trusting yourself, trusting your choices, trusting your intuition and, tr and, and letting go that the same thing isn't going to happen. It's so normal when we um, have bad experiences, you know, our ego protects us. It remembers that memory, it gets imprinted, if you want it in the technical sense, in the hippocampus and we it triggers and also maybe stops us from moving forward um because of that fear our ego is like i'm going to protect you you mustn't you know you mustn't do the same thing again you mustn't trust people because look what happened but all that does is inhibit it, inhibit you because obviously every dynamic and every person is different and i think i once said to one person who 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 i know will watch this that until somebody breaks your trust you have to go forward with trust all right. And I say that to all Capricorns. You have Saturn still in your sign all the way until I think about November of this year, kicking your bottoms basically into where you're going to have the most success. It's your ruling planet. It's a bit of a tough ruling planet, but oh boy, does it bring you an abundance of lots of things. So right now, Saturn basically is saying, why are you focus there when you need to be focused on all these pots, all these things that you could be doing? And it's because it feels like in the first week, you know, and maybe when you see this, if you see this in the first week, you will snap out of it. But it feels like a lot of you are going, oh, you know, should I, you know, should I trust this one? Should I do that? If you didn't have that fear, you would you would just be like, yeah, I'm going to do this. And yeah, I'm going to do that. And I know this will work. Have confidence in yourself, basically. Don't let the past get to you. Do you get me? I hope you do. Um. I mean, I get a lot of people thinking that people are trying to take or steal things from you or that people like you has you have to release that energy because it's only going to slow things down. And then everything that I tell you just takes longer than it needs to. So just shake it off like Taylor Swift. <laughs> All right. So um, in. So what has that act in your love life? Because some of that was about everything, because I think I have to tell you like that, because. It stops you from offers that are coming to you. And in the second week, if you're single, that's a great way for dating because I get an offer coming to you. But if you're in a relationship, there is an offer of more coming towards you that if you don't trust it or trust that person, because maybe that trust is because of that person, um, you, it will just hold things back from you having joy and contentment and the best of everything in your life um, for you. So you can hold on to that pain if you want to, but really, is it serving you? How is that pain helping you? Because it won't be, it'll just be keeping you, you know, blowing you into a hanky. And 
basically as we get into the second week so we're looking around what that's about the 14th 13th of of the of the month you've got this offer coming in this um this person and again I have to say this if you're single this is or maybe you're newly getting into something or perhaps you're just on the dating scene because you're like yeah new me new you and you've got either those fears that I just get this I don't mean they feel I feel I'm getting water signs I'm getting I'm getting fire signs for for some of you also as well it's been really really good matches for Capricorns um in this month but they're coming forward and what they say they mean they show it straight away um I, like I can't say anything bad about them I think if anything maybe they just are maybe overly enthusiastic <laughs> or maybe they are just maybe doing so much that it feels such a contrast to how you to what you've been used to hence why there might be these alarm bells that the universe wants you to get rid of so that you don't stop yourself by thinking well this must be too good to be true and I have to say the same thing is that if you're in a long term relationship where perhaps there was some bitterness or something that they're going to make you a new offering that you might not know if you can trust or not. It, it's, it, it feels like this new energy knew them, knew you, you know, knew, knew them also, too, and that you can trust it. Um, or if I heart, heart back, you know, to this time to go situation, time to let go of all that negativity, perhaps if you can't, if you truly, truly can't trust that person, then perhaps it is time to go, you know, so that you can invite this new person into your realm. My guides are saying here, and Saturn is saying, only choose those who serve you. Trust them until trust is broken, you know, you have to trust. Um, I get here that because some of you are going to be so busy with your own lives, your own personal development, your own business, your own work ethics, that some of you may worry about the balance of juggling a new relationship. But I get here about trusting yourself again, trusting yourself that you can do it, that you can bring a balance to it, that this person will bring a balance, that they will be understanding, that where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> All of that kind of stuff. And I pretty much get that if you can do that by the third week, so this is quite a quick turnaround, my, my dear Capricorns, that you will feel a lot more content satisfied with the world um satisfied that with your choices so it feels like you start the new year if you allow your fear to completely go truly happy truly happy truly content truly everything in in all areas of life and particularly love um at the end of the month I need to say to some Capricorns, because I, what, I, what I see you is I see you all kind of like, okay, I've got over my fear, and I feel really content, and I'm happy, and then, <laughs> how do I put this? Um, I need to phrase this right, because I need you to handle this well, because for some of you, an ex, somebody that represents that or triggers that fear decides they want to see if you're all right they want to say hi they want to reconnect I don't want to tell you what to do <laughs> Capricorns I think some of you would know what you should do but my guides are saying you should say no it's a little bit like a test like from the universe like of you like sometimes when we grow through um our fears and we transition into gratefulness and we transition into um different you know different styles of learning basically in our human existence sometimes the universe just comes in to say are you sure you're you're happy are you sure you know you've got over that kind of test this person I have to say is a test you were advised to not get sucked back in it, in fact if anything it see it like closure see it like your opportunity to say excuse me mate <laughs> no <laughs> it's been recommended obviously you can do what you want this is guidance because they are not changed they want something I get sketchiness, I get underhandedness, I get that they would only suck you into the void of disappointment. And considering whether you've allowed yourself to go with a new person or not, even if you were in a relationship that's got better, there's still this X energy coming in. You're, you, 
it's it's your chance to not get sucked back into the vortex, basically, the negative one, and see it like closure. If anything, this theme that I've started with, with this time to go, they are definitely to go. Go, go, go. That's a recommendation. It is a test. So if anything, I'm giving you a heads up that you've got a test. You can't fail as long as you say no. The failing would be to yourself is what my guides are saying. The failing would be that you gave them the benefit of the doubt. And this is in the last week of January. Dear fellas, I mean, it could cross a little bit into February as well, but just be, be aware. <laughs> um, the advice is this is a test where you should be saying no. It's a test of your strength and your growth that have you let go of that negative energy that was only holding you back and embracing the positive. I really hope that makes sense. So it looks like Capricorns, you've got a very interesting month, but you are happy when, particularly when you allow yourself to be happy. So allow yourself to be happy. Simple, simple. Anyway, people, I will be back next month with another love horoscope and you all have an amazing start to your year. Take care.